Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Martine, and today I am going to be um, doing a demo of how I use my favorite, favorite uh, art supply is Neo Color Tunes. I'm ready to go. All right, so I have my colors already picked out. Most of them that I feel like I'm going to be using. So this color, I want to say, oh, it's it's ripped off. This color is moss green. I want to say that it's moss green, but the label is off. So this color right here is golden ochre. This is golden ochre. I'm going to list all of these colors. I realize that I'm really bad at listing the products that I'm using in the description box. So I'm going to start trying to be a lot better at doing that. Um, this was moss green, like I said before, and this one is golden ochre. And so for the flower, I think I'm gonna use this orange color. I'm just gonna erase. This is light blue, light blue. I'm so bad at this. Okay. 
And again, this is how I like to use my Neo colors. Everyone is different. This color is Periwinkle Blue. This color is ochre. This is, um, sorry, this is apricot, apricot. This plate is supposed to be peaches, <laughs> uh, but I'm using apricot. How ironic is that? I think I'm going to start activating so that because I like to layer so I'm going to start activating and painting with the neo color.
So the reason why I'm I'm wetting it now is because I like to layer on top and I want to give the first layer an opportunity to dry and so that I can successfully layer without things still being wet. And I just, I like to add like light water at first. I don't want to saturate it because I still like the texture of the crayon. Um, of the crayon. Sorry for the bouncy camera. This is uh, Ruby Red. This is an indigo blue. This one is raw sienna. This one is orange.
shadow. What's this color? This is, um, says olive, something olive, but the first word is ripped off. I think it's dark olive or brown olive. Trying to keep it as loose as possible and just, I mean, I know I have a sketch, but at the same time, I kind of want to intuitively, like the colors that I use, into, like do it intuitively. This is Crimson Alizarin. Moss green is one of my favorite Kyron Dosh colors. I love this green.
Lord. The thing is with Karen Dosh with um, Neo Color 2s is that they really blend well together. I think I'm going to add like a little bit of water here. And also, you can, from the crayon, you can do this and paint with it like that. And blend, and it will blend nicely. I don't want to overwork the flowers because that's where it's headed. It's, those flowers are headed towards overworking. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to leave the flowers as is and move on to the leaves. this blue mm, it's okay all right so moving on to this little tablecloth here I'm gonna pick up what I'm doing is picking up the color here so that I can do a nice wash of the color on the white. And it's not a hundred, the, the color is not a hundred percent concentrated because I picked up a little here and then I do that. Using just a little bit of water on my brush just to get a little wash of color, not a fully con full concentration of color.
No, I'm not going to touch that. And once you lay it down, you can like pick the pigment up with your brush and move it around and do all these different things with it. I mean, this is not coming out as I nicely as I had wanted it to, but it's okay. And another thing you can do is dip, dip the crayon in some water and do that with it. done here guys I'm leaving the white of the plate it's just the peaches and the strawberries um, and I think I want to make this like a light This is a gold color. Yeah, this is gold. Um, but anyway, getting back to the background, I want to do a yellow-ish type color. Here we go. Found the perfect color, Sahara yellow. want to leave oops where'd that green come from I didn't want to leave the background just white I don't know, there's something about this here that I'm not really feeling. Yeah, that's much better. Now, this blue, mm, I think I want to change that blue. Maybe make it into more of an indigo blue. I want to sharpen this.
These are two little blueberries in case anyone was wondering what the hell they were. <laughs> Definitely liking it more. Okay, I'm happy with it, I guess. Yeah, I'm happy with it. So here it is, finished. Very abstract. Very my style. <laughs> Yeah, so here it is. Here's the finished little sketch using <coughs> only Neo Color 2. My favorite, you saw how I used it in different ways, how I dipped it in water, how I used a wet brush and got the pigment right off of the crayon and painted that way. Um, there are so many different ways that you can use these crayons um, and that is why it is my favorite medium because and you can I know that the tips can be very blunt but you can sharpen it like right now I have these shavings here um, I don't I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys I see a lot of people keep the shavings and do all of that no, I no. I know, yeah, it's wasteful or whatever, but I don't have containers to keep the shavings and things like that. So when I sharpen them, I just sharpen it and that's it. But the tips can be very blunt. And then if you need something pointy, you know, you can sharpen it. You can use this sharpener that I bought at Blick when I purchased... Um, when I purchased some of my Neo colors, because I didn't purchase a set. These are all purchased individually. Um, so, yeah, this is the final piece. And I hope you enjoyed or learned, got something out of this video. And, um, drop down in the description and join my Substack newsletters. I have a membership over there which gets you one print mailed to your home every month as well as one digital digital print that you can print out yourself on your own paper. So you get two things. You get one print one physical and, and a digital file that you can print out on your own, okay? So again, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. And thank you to all my new subscribers. 
um, please um, share this video with a friend if you're new to my channel please do subscribe I just hit my 500 mark and I really would love to get to a thousand um, it's taken me a while to get to 500 subscribers and I'm hoping that it doesn't take me another year to get to a thousand so go ahead and subscribe guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.